Hello, my name is Dana Huff, and in my previous tutorial, I demonstrated how to do basic recording and editing in GarageBand. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to add some effects to your podcast and how to save and export your files. For the purposes of this tutorial, I have opened a vocal track that I've already created. Let's say you want to add some effects. There are a lot of effects in GarageBand. I'm going to demonstrate adding two types. The first is a sound effect. If the loop browser isn't open, you can open it by clicking this blue eye down here in the lower right hand corner. You can see several menus up here at the top. I'm going to select sound effects and foley. Let's say this is a podcast for school. Perhaps a school bell would be appropriate. You can test out effects first and decide whether you want them, and if you decide you do, it's simple. You just need to drag it over here into the jingle track. Now, I've got a podcast up here that I've already recorded, and I don't want the school bell to ring over my voice, so I'm going to drag it down just a little bit so that the voice will start after the school bell and you can test it out to see how it sounds by clicking play. Hello everyone and welcome to Mrs. Huff's Book Talk Podcast. What you saw just a second ago where it said part of my podcast could not be played, I've noticed that's been happening a little bit lately and I simply try playing again and it doesn't seem to be a problem. So that's very easy. Adding a, a sound effect is very simple. It's a matter of dragging and dropping the sound effect into, into the proper place. But let's say I don't want to have it. I can easily delete it by selecting it and, and hitting the delete key. And I'm going to drag that back to the beginning. Let's say I'd like to add an echo to my voice first thing I need to do is come down here and click the little I button that says view hide the track info and the way that I can create an echo effect is by coming over here and clicking on the edit tab and you can see there are some effects already on here I'm going to click right here to add an effect and I'm going to select track echo and I'm going to play, you can play with the Master Reverb and Master Echo a little bit by clicking on, make sure the little blue light is lit and you can click on it and change the percentage down here and then you can try playing it back to see what it sounds like with the echo effect Hello everyone, Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to Mrs. Huff's, 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 Huff's Talk Huff's Podcast. Huff's Podcast. Huff's Podcast. I have been, I have been enjoying, 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 enjoying If you wanted to create an, a creepy atmosphere, the echo effect would be really kind of cool to have. And you can also easily get rid of it by clicking on this drop down and selecting none. And then if you want to make sure that you have no echo at all, you also want to move that back to zero and turn that off. Let's say you want to add some background music to your podcast. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use some music available with GarageBand as it's been licensed for use in audio creations. What you don't want to do, even though it's possible to do, is bring in music from your iTunes library. A lot of music is copyrighted and you may or may not be on safe ground under the fair use exception if you use it. So I'm going to go back to Loops, which remember you can get there by clicking on the I. And I'm this time, instead of sound effects, I'm going to select jingles. And you can see they have jingles from all different kinds of music over here. I'm going to select jazz. I feel like jazz today. And for the purposes of this podcast, I think I like First Snowfall. So I'm going to drag it over here. to my jingles uh, track over here on my podcast. Now one of the things you'll notice when I play these together is that it will be hard for you to hear my voice over the music. And basically 
what I can do is adjust the volume level of this track by clicking track volume. This is like a, um, basically the way I did that is there's like an inverted triangle and when you click on it, it, it turns right side up and you'll see track volume down here. And now you see right here, if you look very closely, there is a volume control and I can adjust this in a variety of ways. If I want the whole thing softer, I can click it on and I can basically click wherever I want and I can drag and you can see that I can adjust the volume if I wanted to adjust the whole thing I could but if I wanted to have an intro so that the music gradually gets softer I can do that if I like to. And you can test that out to see how it sounds. By going back to the beginning. Hello everyone and welcome to Mrs. Huff's Book Talk. And you can see the music dropped out when I used the track volume to adjust that track. And I could do that with any of the tracks. Simply a matter of taking this little button right here and it will open automatically and then just making sure you turn track volume on and you can do any adjustments that you want to do to the volume. So it's very easy to add music, introductory music or music in the background if you would like to when you're working with GarageBand. Let's say you're ready to save your podcast. You can go ahead and save your file in GarageBand's native format, which is .band. So I'm going to click and do Save As. Select a file name if you don't already have one and click Save. And then you can continue to come back in here and edit this podcast later on if you would like to. If you want to upload this file to the web though, or save it in some other way, you need to save it as a different file type because unless somebody has GarageBand, they won't be able to open your file. So the way that you do that is you come up here and you click Share, and you click Export Podcast to Disk. And if you don't already have it selected, you select the one that says MP3 Encoder. And since I had some music, I probably want to select Musical Podcast because as it says here, it's ideal for podcasts with music and voice. Um, I could, if I just had speaking on it, just vocal, I could come up here and select Spoken Podcast. But Musical is fine with me. So after you have got the settings that you want, MP3 Encoder and Musical Podcast, you click this button that says Export and then it will usually give you a warning that it's not going to have artwork and other things because I didn't put it in there. If you put artwork in there you could um, and you would have to use a different kind of compression. I'm going to click continue and save and it says creating mix down and it'll take just a minute and you will have an mp3 file that you can upload to your website or share with your friends.